Hello guys, today I want to show you a new feature of Laravel Breeze that was released by Taylor this week and this is Breeze installed with API. But first a little backstory. If we follow the timeline of Taylor's tweets, on November 5 he asked the audience what do you want from Laravel and he does that from time to time every month or so and that is a great thing and he received 278 comments, quite a lot. And he read them, I suppose, and then three days later he tweeted this. So one of the most popular responses is to have Laravel new project with only API, without resources views, so just for the API. And he decided to work on that. And then almost a month later, on December 1st, he tweeted this. So he decided to not go to Laravel new API, but instead inject that into Laravel Breeze to generate the API only without the resources views. And for the front end, you can technically use anything, for example, next or next frameworks. And finally, on December 7th, this was released. The actual Laravel release came with an addition to Laravel Breeze, which is now this in the documentation. So you can install Laravel Breeze and install only API. And on top of that, there's a separate repository of Next.js framework called Laravel Breeze Next. So an example of using Next.js with that new version of Laravel Breeze API. For those of you who don't know, Next.js is the React framework getting pretty popular, especially in the last months. I see the demos even from Mohammed on Laravel channel, on the official Laravel channel, and I will link that in the description below. But that new thing from Breeze is not specifically for Next.js. Technically, you can do that and use that for any front-end framework if you manage to make it work together. So I tried it out with the API. I've generated the project with PHP Artisan Breeze install API, and let's take a look what's inside. So first in the repository, you don't see resources views folder at all. Resources views is empty. So the folder exists, but there's nothing in there. And then if you follow the routes, the routes kind of surprised me because I was expecting that in the routes API. But anyway, in this current iteration, it's the homepage to just return the Laravel version and everything else is in routes auth. So routes API didn't really change and it just returns the logged in user powered by Laravel Sanctum but everything is in the routes auth, which also actually didn't really change. So it's not routes API and all those controllers are still in app HTTP controllers auth. So there's no API namespace or subfolder, but it may be fine. Inside of those controllers, the behavior didn't change much except for the return. So the original return of the store method in registration, for example, was redirect to home. Now instead you have response no content, which will return 204 status code, which is okay for the API. So on the front end, you need to catch that response and then redirect to whatever or implement any other behavior in the front end. So the back end, the API doesn't really attach to any status code or behavior. This is then your custom logic on the front end. And this is similar in other controllers like email verification, notification controller, some actions and then response JSON. For some responses, it's status. For some responses, it's no response. In new password controller, for example, there's response with status. But for authenticated session controller, for example, which is login controller, in other words, there's no content. So it just creates the session and then you can do whatever you want with that. It's powered by Laravel Sanctum, the SPA version of Laravel Sanctum. So if you want API login with tokens, like for mobile application, that version wouldn't suit you. It's mostly suitable for SPAs and specifically with an example of Next.js in this case. If you try it out yourself, shoot in the comments below, did you like it or will you use it? And have you tried Next.js? What is your opinion about that? And if you have something to say to Taylor about this new release, I guess the best way is to reply to that tweet. I will link that in the description below. And if you want to get latest news about Laravel, like in this video, please subscribe to the channel and tell your friends to subscribe to help me reach 100,000 subscribers in 2022 and get the silver play button from YouTube. That's kind of my goal here. Sounds silly, but it would be an achievement for me. Thanks for that and see you guys in other videos.